Hello. In this video, we are going to look at some ways that you can customize your gradebook in Canvas that will hopefully save you time and make the Canvas gradebook work a little bit easier for you. One of the new um, latest updates that Canvas uh, made to the gradebook is called Enhanced Gradebook Filters. Um, so now you're going to find a lot of different methods of filtering your gradebook under this Apply Filters button right here. But one of the challenges um, that this created for um, teachers is that when you click on that and you just wanted to go quickly to say, let's say, just see period one or period two, one of your sections, um, now you have to drill down a little bit more and it takes more clicks. So you would have to click sections and then you would have to click, let's say, period two if you wanted to see period two students only. So what we can do to speed that up, if that's um, an issue for you, is we can make um, a custom filter for each one of our periods that we want to um, have quick access to. So to do that, we're going to click on Apply Filters. We're going to create and manage a filter preset. We're going to create a filter preset, and I'm going to create one uh, with the name of Period 1 for Period 1. And then I'm going to choose my section that matches that, period one. And I don't need any of these other details for this filter. So that's it. I'm just going to click Save Filter Preset. Uh, and then I'll continue. And I'll do one for period two. And then I'll go do the same thing, um, Save Filter Preset, and so on. So you can do that um, for every period um, that you want. If you want it to be um, in like descending order, so period one would be on the top, you would want to do this like backwards. So do your highest period number first, and then that'll that'll take care of the order. But uh, we can X out of that, and notice now when we go to apply filters, we have the pil the the quick way to just show period two, and it saves us a couple of clicks. The next thing that I wanted to point out is that. Um, there is a way, like over this over the course of the semester, um, oftentimes uh, students will drop your class, change classes, um, or transfer out of um, one school to another. And when that happens, we conclude their enrollment in your Canvas course. And sometimes you need to be able to see their grades. So if that ever happens, um, right here next to the student name column up at the top, you'll see three dots. If you click on those three dots, you can um, go to this menu right here. And what you'll want to do to show those enrollments again is you'll just want to check or, or select concluded enrollments. OK, so if you had any students that had concluded, um, transferred out, they would now be shown in here. And then you can uncheck that um, when you're ready to as well. I should also point out that you can change your sort order, you can change what how the names are displayed, and you can also change that secondary information um, that's shown under a student's name, which is typically the period. You can change that to um, the SIS ID number if you want their ID number or um, a variety of other things as well. Another useful thing that you can do in the Canvas gradebook, if you haven't already done it, is um, that you'll notice, like, if you want to see the total um, that would show the cumulative grade for any of your students, if you have a lot of assignments in your gradebook, you have to scroll all the way over to the end of your gradebook like this. So what you can do is you can um, click on the three dots in the total column, and then you can select Move to Front. And then what that does is, is it moves the total column to the front of your gradebook. This looks a little weird, so I'm going to refresh this, and there we go. Another thing I want to highlight is in this settings icon right here, this little gear up at the top right of your gradebook, there's a lot of different um, settings that you can apply in there as well. And one of the most useful is uh, our view options. So you will click on view options. And one of the things that is very useful to teachers is to have their gradebook always arranged so that um, the due date newest to oldest is, is selected. So the newest assignments will be 
on the, the left of your gradebook and the oldest will be on the right. Um, another thing that's helpful is to unclick unpublished um, so that you're not seeing all your unpublished assignments in your gradebook and uh, taking up that valuable screen real estate. And then um, sometimes it's, it's, it's helpful to have a notes column. So I'm going to um, click on the notes column. Um, you can also change the color of these different statuses here. And uh, for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and click apply setting. And here you can see that now um, my gradebook sorted the way that I wanted with the, the most recent um, due date assignment right here. And then now I also have a notes column for Ferris. Um, so I may need to keep track of something um, due to uh, some, some behavior that Ferris has demonstrated in my class. Maybe he was truant. Um, or maybe he needs to sit up in the front of the classroom, whatever it is, you can make a notation there and um, keep track of that. And these notes are not visible to parents or students. They are only visible to teachers in the course. So I hope these customization tips helped you. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me an email and uh, hope you have a great day.